That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Brian O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pomacher. Thank you so much for logging on, tuning in, taking time from your busy schedule. I know a lot of you were surfing Facebook. You had to come all the way over to YouTube. We got to absorb that for a minute. It takes some time. Gotcha. There's there's multiple clicks involved, and we're going to ask for one more. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you can find out. We're interviewing authors, artists, filmmakers, musicians. Uh, just creative people of all kinds, and we want you to see that when it happens. We're here on the floor of MegaCon 2018 in Orlando, Florida, and we're hanging out with comic creator Evan Posius. Evan, thanks for hanging with us, man. Thank you. Pleasure um, Evan is the uh, creator of Time Grunt and also Johnny Phantasm. Correct. All right, we got copies of those comics here. Yep. It's awesome. Uh, we're also visited... This is the stand-in for Patrick Thomas Parnell, who is a Sarasota native. Uh, we're going to call him Pat. Pat. Yes. Pat is here with us. Yes. Pat will take questions, but we've tried to get him to answer. This is the most, this is like, it's harder to get him to answer than any other celebrity. Yes. Yeah, he's tight-lipped tight, tight -lipped for sure. Very tight, tight build. Yes. That's right. So, um, we have chips here, too. This is yeah, these not are, the movie uh, chips. These are chips. This is... What do we got here? Johnny Phantasm poker chips. Johnny Phantasm poker chips. Yeah, we sort of uh, take pride in uh, our giveaways, and we thought that'd be a creative way to that's a, spread that's the word. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is awesome. All right, so I think that's where we'll start. We're going to start with Johnny Phantasm. Sure. Um, so you're sitting at home one day, and this guy pops into your head. Yes. And instead of taking medication. Huh. You immediately run to the keyboard. Exactly. So tell us, what, what inspired Johnny Fantastic? Man? Sure. Uh, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, Detroit has you know, a rich history. Uh, but I think some of the best stories that are told are the stories that uh, you know or have some emotion uh, regarding. And uh, the main character, Johnny Don't Care, kind of gave up on everything. Uh, gave up on his family, his friends. Became just very apathetic about life. Uh, and at certain points we probably all felt that way and I sort of translate, translated that into uh, my love of sort of gangster stories but also living in New Orleans for, the, for, for three years uh, was uh, exposed to voodoo also so a little combination of voodoo, hitman and, and Detroit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So like if, if you ever move into a city they should buy everything weird about that city you're gonna write about it. Pretty much yeah. Okay. And then some. All right very yeah. cool. Um, how long has Johnny Phantasm been running? We've been doing Johnny uh, for one year. Uh, issue two just came out for Megacon Orlando. Uh, the arts by Patrick Parnell. Uh, he also did the color, the layouts, and we're very proud of it. Uh, we have one offer already uh, from one publisher. Yeah, Patsy's happy. Uh, and uh, we'll just keep making uh, great comics and see where it takes us. That's fantastic, man. How long have you been working on comics? Uh, only two and a half years, actually. I, I wrote my first sampler comic with uh, Alex Sanchez, who just did the most recent issue of G.I. Joe, and uh, got published relatively quickly uh, by most standards. So That's fantastic. It's exciting it really stuff. is. It's, yeah. a great, it's a great start to your journey. Yeah. You know, off camera, we talked a little bit about your journey to get where you are. Yeah. And so, I mean, uh, are you familiar with the, the, uh, the, the sci-fi hit uh, Con Man? that just Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion did? I am not. Okay, well, I have just met Dr. Cop Lawyer. <laughs> okay? Uh, from Poli Sci, Law, Restaurateur. Yes. Um, stunt Driver. Uh, not yet, you know. <laughs> but that's, I'm sure that's coming next. No, you I had a great journey to get to artists. Talk a little bit about that. What led you to the arts from, you know, politics and, uh, right. and, and law... And, and in business are those are sort in, in in the in the economics of life those are the hard sciences right 
arts and artistry and writing. These are the soft sciences. So what brought you? What brought you to the dark side? Gotcha. I think I, I just said to the dark side from law. Yes. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. The brainer. irony there. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I, I, I grew up with a love for comics. Uh, you know, grew up a Marvel guy. Loved G.I. Joe. Loved West Coast Avengers. And, you know, while my background is definitely eclectic, I sort of needed elements of all that in order to create comics. Um, living in Boston, had a love of history. Uh, the logical reasoning they teach you in law school helps so much with scripting your ideas when creating comics. I can, I, I can, believe it or not, I see that. And the, then, the, the thought process involved in, in, in the creative process. Logical flow of ideas, sequential art definitely helps. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, business and restaurant background in terms of marketing. Well, you wrote kind of a, a, a supernatural gangster story here. So again, that that knowledge of the law, nothing slips by. You can get into the Correct. Nitty gritty. Of yes, it. where I yeah. need to go. Yes, definitely. It's like watching Conan Doyle write Sherlock Holmes. That medical eye right. helped him put things in a, in, a, in a, a narrative that was, when you went back on it later after the case is aha for you, right. you're able to look back and go, oh, he did that to me. I know where he did that to me now. You had that from right. the when, law when, background and things like that. When you write things you know and emotions that you have felt, good things happen. And that's what we tried to do with Johnny and Tom Grunts. Well, you know, that's it. The artist's uh, mission is to tell the truth, the Definitely. human truth. Uh, you know, facts, those are for journalists and lawyers. The truth is for artists. Storytelling and entertaining. That's, that's Absolutely. what we're here for. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Time Grunt. Sure. Uh, when you guys were first brought to our attention, that's the one that we heard about. Yep. And we've got, uh, we got that back here. Yep. Uh, back here. And uh, so, that's uh, this is one. creepy. Yeah, <laughs> just a little, yeah. So tell us a little bit about Time Grunt, man. Sure. Uh, I grew up watching old war movies with my dad, including uh, Guns of Navarone, Dirty Dozen, and later on in life I loved uh, time travel stuff, Quantum Leap. You can actually find those on Amazon, guys. Yes. Uh, time Bandits. And, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, classic. And uh, came up with an idea of... What if we combined a couple of those elements? And uh, Time Grunts is uh, about memories, really. It's uh, about memories of growing up watching those movies with my dad, memories of playing with G.I. Joes and reading the comics. But then also, uh, you know, beyond just the action, bullets, and sci-fi, there's a strong element of uh, dealing with regret, dealing with the past, overcoming adversity, so some strong themes. Wow. Yeah. You got really deep there, man. Oh, thank you. Like Barbara Walters in here now. I'm like Misty. <laughs> yeah, because, because you know what? Nothing makes you tear up like time traveling Nazis. Yeah, exactly. That'll do it exactly. every time. Exactly. Um, so, this is how long has this been gone now? Uh, we've been doing time runs for about two years. We were published by Caliber in January. Uh, volume one, The Monsters Within, uh, is on Amazon currently. It's also in uh, Diamonds. Uh, comic stores now can order it, uh, diamond code 181616, uh, and volume two will be out in time for New York Comic Con in October. Fantastic, yeah. man, really. Um, as a fairly, uh, given the length of your career, as a fairly new artist, yes. um, how's the reception, man? So far it's awesome, uh, getting a lot of great looks, uh, um, meeting a lot of fans. And, and, uh, this is a great community to dive into it is definitely and uh very lucky you know me coming from the midwest alex being in new york and patrick being in florida we're hitting a lot of uh, uh different people geographically so pretty awesome uh on your artistic journey coolest moment so far what was the moment you were like that's why i do this coolest moment may have just happened yesterday uh uh Tom King, the writer of Batman, actually purchased a copy of Time Runs Volume 1, so that was uh, pretty but, moving. Look, whenever another artist pays you for your art, yeah. it's a good day. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's, that's a nice, it's an affirming moment. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah I yeah. know for me, just getting the book in my hand for the first time, touching this oh. tactile thing, I just thought, yeah. wow. Yeah, definitely. It was just like a moment of, hey, this is why... Something that you created, it's almost like your baby, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool moment, yeah. and then to see fans and readers and people enjoy it, 
Yeah, amazing. Bonus, man, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely puts yeah. a smile on my face. That's awesome, man. That's fantastic. Where are you guys headed from here? Uh, we will be doing Heroes Con in Charlotte in a few weeks. Uh -huh. And then Patrick, Alex, and I will all be at New York Comic Con in October. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. stuff, yeah. man. That's my shut up card. All right. Yeah, she does that all the time. So all right, Doug. You're getting going. You zip it, man. Yep. You gotta. You don't watch him. He'll keep going. <laughs> He'll go forever, man. Um, we got to wrap it up. As we do, we want to say thank you to our partners and our friends at Sunday Unique Magazine, Famous Faces and Funnies, Krypton Radio, our great friend, author Yvonne Mason, over at Off the Chain Radio, Space Coast Comics, with uh, Jake Estrada and David Grace. We want to thank Asylum Convention and Entertainment Services, uh, as well as the great folks at Fan Expo and Megacon 2018 for inviting us to come in here and share the amazing space with these artists and creators. I'm GW Pometer. We've been hanging with comic creator Evan Hosius, the creator of Time Grunt and Johnny Phantasm. Look down below for the links. In the meantime, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.